The boundaries between humans and machines are gradually fading. Scientists have created a human brain that can be connected to a computer. Researchers from Indiana University in Bloomington, USA, have successfully grown a living human brain that can be connected to a computer. This discovery could lead to the development of new technologies that will change our lives. The grown brain consists of neurons and cells that form a complex network. It was created from stem cells taken from a human embryo. Stem cells can differentiate into various types of cells, including neurons. To connect the brain to a computer, scientists used electrodes. The electrodes input data into the brain cells and read the results of its subsequent activity. Researchers conducted several experiments with this brain. They demonstrated that it can learn and perform complex tasks. For example, the brain was able to recognize voices and solve complex equations. The group of scientists predicts that within the next 10 years, humanity will see the emergence of the first biocomputers. Biocomputers will combine the advantages of the human brain and computer. They will have high processing speed and learning ability. This discovery has tremendous potential for the development of new technologies. Biocomputers can be used to create new types of artificial intelligence, robots, and medical devices. However, scientists still face many challenges. First and foremost, methods for growing larger and more complex brains need to be developed. Additionally, ways to connect biocomputers to the human body need to be devised. If scientists can overcome these difficulties, biocomputers will become a reality in the coming years. This discovery will change our world and make it more advanced. Chinese social media reports the arrival of the first thousand invisible military suits in the People's Liberation Army of China. There is no official confirmation. But it is known that two years ago, Chinese scientists came close to creating this revolutionary technology. The idea of an invisibility coat may seem more like magic than science, but researchers are diligently working on creating devices that can scatter and bend light, making the objects behind them invisible. Previously, such devices attempted to be made based on metamaterials. These materials have new properties not found in naturally occurring substances or in individual particles of material. But working with them is difficult, so the decision was made to use molybdenum trioxide. This material could become an excellent platform for controlling energy flows, thanks to its unique properties. Modeling results showed that rolled-up sheets of molybdenum trioxide would replace metamaterials. It already demonstrates nearly perfect invisibility. In Japan, a replica of the famous writer has been created in the form of a robot. An android of the writer Natsume Soseki was created for the 100th anniversary of his death. A group of scientists from Nisagakusha University and Hiroshi Ishiguro's team, the most famous creator of humanoid robots in Japan from Osaka University, worked on it. To make the android resemble Natsume Soseki as closely as possible, his photographs, height and weight data, posthumous mask and even the voice of his grandson were used. The android will be used for educational purposes, particularly for reading Natsume Soseki's works aloud to children, as well as for developing speech abilities and dialogue skills in this type of robots. This is the humanoid robot Toro, originating from Germany. It was created at the German Center for Robotics and Mechatronics DLR. Assembly of this robot began as far back as 2009. At that time, developers only created the legs of the DLR biped, but now the roboticists have decided to present its upgraded version, which received a new torso and the name Torque Controlled Humanoid Robot, or Toro. Now that the robot's body is ready, we can start testing its movements for smoothness, speed, and accuracy says the lead project developer, Christian Ott. Take, for example, a person opening a heavy door. Several dynamic, precise actions are involved in this process simultaneously. Our robot should also be able to handle this task. The next step for us is climbing stairs. Here we need to teach Toro how to lift itself up and simultaneously balance like a human. Another development from the German Center of Robotics and Mechatronics is the humanoid robot Roland Justin. As the name suggests, the robot moves on surfaces using wheels. Development of this type began in 2008, and over time, the team of engineers has significantly improved it. Roland Justin is used to explore robotics applications in domestic and industrial settings, as well as in space. It can catch balls, brew coffee, and even learn to repair satellites. The robot is also capable of manipulating both solid and soft objects. Equipped with compatible weaponry and collision detection, it can be operated autonomously or remotely. In China, a 3D bioprinter for mass production of tissues and organs has been released. Chinese company Reginovo Biotechnology Company LTD presented the country's first 3D bioprinter for mass production of human tissue samples. The device is called BioArchitect X, 
it was unveiled at an exhibition in Hangzhou. The 3D bioprinter uses an innovative microcomputerized tomography system. It is reported that the novelty is capable of printing a wide range of tissues and organs. It is expected that the BioArchitect X system will play an important role in the medical field in China, primarily in medicine testing and development programs. Company representatives expect that the 3D bioprinter will stimulate the production of new medicines. When presenting the BioArchitect X at the exhibition, experts from Reginovo printed a fragment of cartilage tissue. During the demonstration, experts selected a 3D model of cartilage and simply started 3D printing with the press of a button. The 3D printer immediately began working dispensing hydrogel with human cells from the print head and depositing it according to the model. The cartilage fragment was ready in less than an hour. The hydrogels themselves are also developed by Reginovo specialists. They are bio-inks for liver cells, blood vessels, and other tissues. The company emphasizes that the cell survival rate in Reginovo materials is 90% and they function for up to four months. This is the humanoid robot David with variable stiffness actuators in the joints capable of operating a drill like a professional. David can pick up a drill, drill through a concrete block, and handle impacts. The robot is equipped with end effector tracking using its head and uses both hands to perform complex tasks. The weight of the robot is 55 kilograms. Recently, David demonstrated advanced manipulation skills with the seven degree of freedom arm and fully articulated five finger hand using a pipette. To localize the object, the company combined multi-object tracking with proprioceptive measurements. Together with path planning, this allows for controlled in-hand manipulation. David is designed to approximate its human archetype in terms of size, weight, and performance. The main focus during development is on reliability, high dynamics, and maneuverability. One of the earliest examples of interaction between robots and humans is Aiko Chihira. This humanoid robot, developed by Toshiba, greets visitors at a department store in Tokyo. Aiko has been hired at the major Mitsukoshi department store in Tokyo. Aiko closely resembles a human. With the help of 43 moving mechanisms, the robot can move its eyes, head, and arms. The robot recognizes human language and can answer questions in English and Japanese. Aiko can blink and squint her eyes, move her lips, and open her mouth when speaking. The management of the department store believes that the female robot is an effective tool for attracting customers. Essentially, she can display almost the entire range of emotions typical of humans. Looking at her, it is indeed difficult to determine whether she is a robot or a living person. Write in the comments which of the robots shown in this video impressed you the most. Subscribe to the Caro Show channel to stay tuned for our upcoming videos and check out our previous episodes. See you next time.